Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day and today we're playing Una, the Druid's Path. This is a free-to-play game. It released into early access on Steam on February 26th of 2021. This is a game uh, by some Spanish college students. They are, they're part of a, a, like a game programming school and they release free games on, on Steam. And so when I saw this one, at first, I'm not going to read this stuff. I'm just going to talk. Um, I've read it a little bit, and um, I think just by reading like the description on Steam, it gives me an idea without reading all the dialogue. But um, so this this is from the people who brought us Synthetic Hazard, which I made some videos on. I really liked that game personally for what it was. Um, well, free to play game on Steam, and it got mixed reviews. So I guess people didn't like it, um, but you know whatever. And so this is, um, see, there's Southern Methodist Guilds. I think it's SMG. I thought it was SMU. Southern Methodist United Guilds Hall. Yeah, that's another one. They're, um, they're in the States, and um, they're a bunch of college students who release, who release free games on Steam as part of their graduation product projects. And, um, yeah, so anyway, when I saw this one, I was like, well, this looks too good to be true. And, um, that's why. They have incentive to make a good game or, like, a, a well-polished game that, besides money. So that's why it's free to play. Anyway, it's a platformer. You can see I really like the, oh, shoot, the visuals in this game. I like the artwork a lot and the music. And then also... Kind of like this dreamy state that we're in in the game, right? You can see this this leaf that we're standing on. It it kind of it looks like um, it looks like we're underwater, right? To me, it does. This is where oh brutal. I'm not okay. So I guess we'll wait for this platform to come up. There we go. And then come over. And then that thing happens come down here and then I'll, okay so look at the color contrast here right red and green or like or green and orange are opposite colors so like I just like how everything's cool colors and then you have some aspects like this vine that I just died on <laughs> um, how they're red and they're they contrast but here's our double jump thing or mechanic that's a Venus flytrap well, let's just check it out Oh, it's not. Okay. So I died on this the first time I came through. Looks like it might not be working. Oh, there it is. And then, so this is one thing I'm confused about. Okay. Well, question answered. I'm not confused anymore. The reason I was confused is that the first time I came through here... Um... That thing, like, it took a long time to eat us, like... Like, uh, we had a chance to escape or something, so I was attacking it, and then that time took a lot shorter. That was a lot more intuitive and straightforward. So I'm playing this on a controller. That's what I think the game is designed, or it's optimized for controllers. So A is jump, X is attack thingy, whatever that is. It looks like an attack to me. And then B is activate things in the environment. So you can wall jump, like, really proficiently and fast, like that. And I'm guessing those are checkpoints. I don't know. We're going to come down on this. I have a feeling there might be something down here. No, maybe not. Ooh, that's cool. I like how, yeah, how it exposes. Yeah, we just got something. I like how it, it, well, you can see, right? There's, like, a cool orb. And so the visibility is increased through um, solid materials just by there being like that little transparency thing. Interact with the nature, that is the key. So that's our puzzle, I guess. Oh, there's thorns. Into the briar patch! Okay, something's already activated. We're good. Are these going to move on us? Oh, boy. <laughs> I 
So, are we supposed to jump on? Yeah, okay. There we go. Then you can see, kind of like to the bottom right, there's... This is going to be challenging for me. I'm not great with platformers. And I'm guessing that there's a death mechanic down... If we... If we kept going down right there, we might die. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. That's probably the way we're supposed to go. Now that I... Now that I see it a little bit more clearly. This looks like poison. Fiend's flytrap. What is that? That's cool. Oh, and then there's thorns. Okay. So kind of recognizing the environmental hazards, like the things that'll kill us. It's part of learning a new game. It's like those... Those thorns are everywhere, it looks like. So we have the poison. Come over here, Venus flytrap. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I see. So that thing is set up just like that. And then we'll come up here to activate this thingy. Is that a fr I don't know. We're okay, so we're Jude. Druid. I've played Dungeons and Dragons quite a bit. And I'm I'm a I'm just a gaming nerd all around. And uh, druids are kind of my thing. So like in this in this case, I know it's not a role-playing game, but I mean we're a druid, and druids generally are really good with animals, even hostile ones. And so to me it's surprising that we are attacking animals, but that's alright. Sometimes there's only one way to solve a problem <laughs> with violence. That's can we go down? Yes. Those things look poisonous. Are we... Okay, so we are supposed to go up there. That looks like the way... Like the, the final destination. So we're going to come over here. And I guess... Come up. Maybe there are two different ways to go. Or three? What is this? Oh, so you just run up and attack everything in nature. Okay. <laughs> kind of contradictory to what I'm used to uh, <laughs> in a druid's life. Oh, no, get there. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. There we go. So kind of like some exploration. Usually I'm used to like really, um, I guess, linear platformers. Activate this thing. And this one's not as linear as uh, what I'm used to. Because what I saw there were like four different ways we could go. Oh. Okay, so there is an order of operations here. So you can see this log right here. This thing needs to be retracted. And then this one needs to be retracted. Oh, come on. Get there. Okay, cool. So we got there. And then there's another thingy in here. Oh, that's totally not what I wanted to do. Not even close. And then we finally died. There, there. Are, I've noticed a few small bugs. Not game breaking. There was one time I was playing it while not recording. And there was... There was like a... Well, I got stuck. I got stuck between like a like a big leaf and something else. I see what we have to do. Okay, so there's a wall jump there. Oh. Okay. Whoa. That Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. I'm confused because the death mechanic So we, we hit that wall of thorns up there on the left side. Right there. And then so like our character starts blinking like that. And I'm not sure if that's like... You're going to die in a second if you don't stop doing what you're doing. Or if it's like death. And so that kind of leads me to believe that it's not um, permanent death. Oh, okay. That's cool. The rocks kind of like jut out. Hmm. 
So we sp we're supposed to get up there. Let's find out how. Was that... What the heck's going on? <laughs> the, the animal... I don't know if that animal disappeared or if we killed it. Okay, that's that's the ticket. See, I like the artwork a lot. You can tell this is the first time I remember seeing wood like this, and I just like the way it's drawn. I like the I like the text. I guess the texture on it, if you could say that, but it's mostly just kind of like colored, right? It's um like a comic book artist colored it in with different shades. But yeah, I like all the. How, how asymmetrical everything is right there, just with the wood. I'm just looking at the wood right now. And there's some kind of, like, a light emanating right here, like some kind of light entity in the game that gives... It just makes it look different. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so now we have three different colors of those, I guess, keystone? And so it's a puzzle, right? find out in a sec. Well, I guess for now that was it. So so one one monolith up there, I guess it's monolithic, right? One monolith was removed. It looks like there's another one though. No, we can go through. We're good. That was totally luck. That we didn't get hit by that poisonous thing. Yeah, really cool visuals. I like how the camera kind of panned out here. So that way we can see more and it kind of gives a better idea of the scale, I guess, is the word for it. You can see what we have to do here. These are two double jump things right here. These, like, orbs. And uh, we have to double jump up to that thing. But I want to check this out first. Huh. Secrets. So yeah, uh, I mean, this is, I set out to make a review video, and now I'm just playing the game. Uh, apparently those things are, are deadly, um, but there's no way to have known that beforehand. Oh, and you can see these things are blinking red, so they're disappearing. I wonder if they come back. They sure do. And I think we're good down there, right? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Ha! Oh, no, not ha. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, there we go. To get back up, that's cool. Okay, and now we have to get up inside of there. Oh, I see. I think I see. So, if we go like... Nope. Anyway, I'm gonna call this one here. So, like, what I was saying is I, I set out to make a review of this game and just, like, give give some idea of gameplay before people downloaded it or whatever, you know. Um, and then I'm just playing it now. And so, 
I think overall, um, I think it's a good game. I think you should check it out, especially it's free to play. It works. Um, there's a lot more here than most free to play games have. And uh, there are some things that are kind of unexplained um, outside of just game experience, like oh, this animal's hostile, you die if it hits you, or some of the um, some of the plants in the game will kill you, but there's no there's no way to know unless well, unless you experience it, you die. So it's kind of one of those games like trial by fire. But um, good thing is the penalty for dying is pretty minimal. Um, you just you just start over right where you were, which is pretty nice. Pretty forgiving, but um, I think just like this, and that's that. But anyway, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.